What is up everyone, Bearkid here, and I'm bringing you guys a quick Gears of War discussion video. I've been playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition as much as I possibly can these last few days, and I have to say that this game is amazing. I love everything about this game, from the graphics, to how the multiplayer works, the weapons, the maps, everything. Everything about this game is just simply amazing. And while I did have high expectations for this game already, especially after playing the beta, I have to say that it still still rose above those expectations. It really did. You know, this game is just simply, you know, what a remake should be. You know, and I know a lot of people always bashed on like, you know, the Halo Master Chief Collection and how the multiplayer didn't work. And honestly, I believe the reason why that game had so much trouble is because they tried to put every single Halo game together. They tried to make it to where, you know, you could play any Halo multiplayer game all on the Xbox One. And while this is a cool feature, you know what I mean? I admit I kind of wish Gears of War Ultimate Edition have a, did have the other games. But I think the reason why Gears of War Ultimate Edition just works so well in comparison to the Halo Master Chief Collection is simply because when it comes to the Master Chief Collection, you know, all these games put together, it really causes like a really big confusion with the game itself. You know, after all, it's trying to play every single game. But whereas with Gears of War Ultimate Edition, it's just one game. You know, the Coalition focused on one game and they really did everything they possibly could to bring back the epicness of Gears of War 1 but without all the horrible hiccups that the original Gears of War uh, 1 version had. You know, Gears of War 1 was a great game, but, you know, it had really plaguing issues like the host advantage, you know, the glitches that people could do like kung fu flips, and all those really weird um, exploits that people you used to take advantage of. And while I'm not saying that this game is perfect, as far as I can see in terms of glitches and stuff like that, I still have yet to see that. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure there's going to probably be someone out there that probably finds some weird glitch or something that they can still exploit, and then the Coalition will probably have to fix it. But as far as I can see, I still have yet to see anyone do anything like that, so that's actually a really huge plus with this game. I remember a few months back, I tried to play the original Gears of War 1 um, after the beta to just you know, simply try the game out to get my feel of Gears of War 1 before Gears of War Ultimate Edition came out. And literally the first game I get into, this guy is doing Kung Fu flips, um, glitching out of the map and cheating. So I, you know, it really ruined Gears of War 1 for me. But with uh, Ultimate Edition, you know, we get all the awesomeness of Gears of War 1 improved without all of this horribleness. And that's why I believe Gears of War Ultimate Edition is so successful, so amazing, and so awesome. And just the fact that the game runs like at full 1080p 60 frames per second is what really makes the game stand out to me. You know, I know this is like pretty much the standard for gaming nowadays, but it feels amazing to finally play Gears of War in 60 frames per second. You know, I'm not really a huge like graphics or like a resolution horror when it comes to this type of stuff, but honestly 60 frames per second just is amazing. You know, this this is what I really want from Gears of War from now on. You know, when it comes to shooters, I believe that 60 frames per second should be the standard. It gets that super smoothness and it gives you way better accuracy with your weapons and just overall the game flows better. And I really hope that Gears of War 4 has this, you know, feature as well, which I'm pretty sure it will. But the thing that I really just want to talk about when it comes to Gears of War Ultimate Edition is while this game is amazing, while it is so awesome and it does fix so many things, I do feel like it is lacking a few things, you know, nothing nothing too heavy, nothing that ruins the game. But I will be honest and say that there is a few things that I do wish that this game had. For example, to start us off here when it comes to what I, you know, wish Gears of War Ultimate Edition has, uh, is that I wish it had ribbons. You know, a lot of people kind of had like a huge controversy with this, you know, like, oh, well, why should Gears of War uh, Ultimate Edition have it when Gears of War 1 didn't have it? You know, I know it's... It might be trying to stay true to the original version, but I still felt like they should have still modernized the game, gave you ribbons, let you see when you get killing sprees, rampages, you know, triple kills, or whatever, you know, just the awesome little ribbons that we got to see in Gears of War 3. You know, it felt really cool, you know, getting a headshot while someone's running, you got an Oscar mic, or, or you get a triple kill, you get to see the ribbon that says triple kill. Or, you know, you get a crazy trick shot with a torque bow, you know, you uh, shoot it through the head and it hits the person behind them and you get a trick shot medal. I really wish that this game had that. And while I don't really care if that it had Onyx medals, you know, Onyx medals really made Gears of War 3 a huge grind, you know, for people especially that are trying to get all the achievements. I played Gears of War 3 for like four years, you know, since the game came out, I played it for so long. And I got like over 30 Onyx medals, I think almost 40. 
and then the game reset. So it kind of uh, the game reset my rank and all my medals. So it kind of like ruined the game for me in a sense because, you know, so I can understand why that they didn't have like onyx medals. That's fine. You know, I honestly don't really care too much for that, but I do wish that it did have like ribbons. And one actually other thing that I really hope that this game does have, you know, that I do wish that this game will do is when it comes to like you know how the game is I do kind of wish it did have an extra DLC later on in the future you know imagine a map pack that you know even if it's just one map pack that'd be cool if it was like one map pack and it had like the best maps throughout the whole series put into um, Gears of War Ultimate Edition like let's say it had like two amazing maps from Gears of War 2 and like two amazing maps from Gears of War 3 and the Gears of War 2 portion would have like All Father's Garden and like pavilion or something like that and then the gears of war 3 version would have like uh checkout and trenches you know just imagine being able to play like gears of war ultimate edition style but on those maps that would actually be really cool you know obviously they would change the weapons we wouldn't have like digger and stuff but it would still be really cool and another thing that i actually think would be really cool for this game as well is to add more character skins you know add like you know you can download like Onyx Guard or like other female characters that I didn't see on the list you know so far I looked through the list of characters that you know that you can unlock by leveling up and quite a few characters that were from Gears of War 3 aren't in this game and while that's fine it would be cool to have an option to download them in the future but overall back to this how I feel first impressions for this game it's amazing just simply put it that way you know everything that everyone liked about Gears of War 1 is in this game and everything that was hated in Gears of War 1 has been taken out. So you get all the awesomeness of a new and improved version of Gears of War 1 without all the crazy hiccups and glitches that people used to exploit. And that's just what really shows that Coalition is an amazing company. You know that's just one thing I just really want to say at the end of this video here. Coalition is doing a hell of a job right now. You know, they didn't just simply port the game over, give a higher resolution, better frame rate, and that's it. No, they freaking built this game from the ground up and improved it and kept the nostalgia of Gears of War 1, but it also improved on it. You know, and this is what makes Coalition an amazing company for me. You know, people had a lot of, you know, doubt for them. They really hated on the fact that it wasn't epic making Gears of War anymore, but they just showed by making this game that they know what they're doing. And I am so excited for Gears of War 4. But anyways, guys, I'm running out of time here. If you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button, subscribe, and tell me what you guys think about Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Do you guys like this game? Do you think it's amazing? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see my most recent Dragon Ball video, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.